This is the Music History Today podcast for June 24th. On today's show, Beyonce releases her debut solo album and the Beatles go around one last time. First up though, on this date in 1374, a very strange event happened when people in Aachen, Germany suddenly started dancing and twitching erratically together in a group until they fell down and collapsed from exhaustion. The phenomenon, which spread throughout medieval Europe, was called St. John's Dance, or St. Vitus Dance. In 1880, the Canadian national anthem, O Canada, was performed in public for the very first time. In 1956, the Steve Allen TV show returned to television. In 1961, Tony Sheridan recorded If You Love Me Baby. His backup band on the recording were the Beatles. In 1965, John Lennon released his book of drawings called A Spaniard in the Works. In 1966, the last Beatles tour started. In 1969, Cher's movie Chastity premiered. In 1971, Robert Altman's movie McCabe and Mrs. Miller, which featured a lot of Leonard Cohen's music, premiered in movie theaters. In 1973, the group Blues Project reunited for a performance in Central Park. In 1978, Jackson Brown and Pete Seeger performed at what became the first of many no-nukes concerts to protest nuclear power plants. In 1982, Jeffrey Daniels of the group Shalimar performed the dance The Moonwalk on the TV show Top of the Pops in Great Britain. Michael Jackson saw the performance and learned how to do the dance, then put his twist on it and turned the moonwalk into a worldwide phenomenon in 1983. In 1993, the band Severe Tire Damage live-streamed their concert at the Xerox Research Center in Palo Alto, California, becoming the first band of any type to live-stream a concert. For the record, the Rolling Stones were the first major label act to do so, but they did it in 1994. Speaking of 1994, in 1994, England's Glastonbury Music Festival started. Peter Gabriel headlined that year. In 1997, Insane Clown Posse's record label, Hollywood Records, which was owned by Disney, pulled their album The Great Malenko from record stores less than a day after releasing it after someone at the record label decided that the album had what they deemed were inappropriate lyrics. Why they figured that out the day after they released the album? Yeah, I have no idea either. In 2000, KISS auctioned off some of their memorabilia, and on that same day, Natalie Maines of The Chicks back then known as the Dixie Chicks, married actor Adrian Pazdar. In 2005, the White Stripes headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2009, it was Bruce Springsteen's turn to headline England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2014, a rare copy of Aphex Twins' album Caustic Window sold on eBay for $46,300 to the creator of the Minecraft video game. No word on whether free shipping was offered. In 2015, England's Glastonbury Music Festival started with Kanye headlining that year. Speaking of Kanye, in 2016, Kanye premiered his infamous music video for the song Famous. That was the one that got him into even more trouble with Taylor Swift. In 2022, the movie biopic Elvis with Austin Butler as Elvis Presley opened in movie theaters. And also on that same day, 2022, Billie Eilish, Paul McCartney, and Kendrick Lamar headlined the Glastonbury Music Festival. In theater in 1954, the musical John Murray Anderson's Almanac closed on Broadway, and in 1961, the musical The Happiest Girl in the World closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on June 24th in 1992, Billy Joel received an honorary high school diploma from Nassau, New York's Hicksville High School. And in 2021, a section of Teaneck, New Jersey was renamed after hometown heroes, the Isley Brothers. Albums that were released on June 24th included in 1968 when The Rascals released Time Peace, The Rascals' Greatest Hits. In 1971, Todd Rundgren released Runt, The Ballad of Todd Rundgren. 
1974, the Beach Boys released Endless Summer. In 1975, the Average White Band released Cut the Cake. In 1977, Crystal Gale released We Must Believe in Magic, and James Taylor released JT. In 1979, The Who released the soundtrack to their movie The Kids Were All Right. In 1980, Jackson Brown released Holdout. In 1982, The Replacements released Stink. In 1984, Celtic Frost released Morbid Tales. In 1986, Soul Asylum released Time's Incinerator. In 1988, Elton John released Red Strikes Back. In 1991, Marillion released Holidays in Eden, and America released Encore More Greatest Hits. Also in 1991, Shakira released her debut album, Magia. She was 14 years old at the time. In 1993, The House of Love released Audience with the Mind. In 1996, Opeth released Morning Rise. In 1997, Delamitri released Some Other Suckers Parade. Motley Crue released Generation Swine. And Testament released Demonic. In 2003, Beyonce released her debut solo album, Dangerously in Love. Also in 2003, Michael McDonald released Motown. Dion released New Masters, and Bob Marley and the Wailers released Live at the Roxy. In 2008, Motley Crue released Saints of Los Angeles. Peter Gabriel released Big Blue Ball. In 2011, Beyonce released Four. In 2014, Fish released Fuego, and the band released Carter Baron Amphitheater, Washington, D.C., July 17, 1976. In 2016, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released The Record Plant 77, and Neil Young re- with Promise of the Real released the album Earth. Singles that were released on June 24th include in 1967 when The Who released Pictures of Lily and Jefferson Airplane released White Rabbit, classic song. In 1972, Neil Young and Graham Nash with The Stray Gators released War Song. In 1974, Leonard Skinner released Sweet Home Alabama, another classic, and the Doobie Brothers released Eyes of Silver. In 1985, Dire Straits released another classic, Money for Nothing. And in 1997, Sister Hazel released All for You, and Sean Colvin released Sunny Came Home. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 24th include singer Slack, singer Solange Knowles, drummer Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac, bassist John Ilsley of Dire Straits, singer Glenn Medeiros, singer and bassist Kurt Smith of Tears for Fears, singer Saida Garrett, singer Sunu, Rapper Mozzie, rapper Snow the Product, rapper Dookie, Sean Kennedy of D's Nuts, Jeff Cease of the Black Crows, Terrence Wilson of UB40, singer Colin Blundstone of the Zombies, Chris Wood of Traffic, bassist Mike de Albuquerque of ELO, or Electric Light Orchestra, if you will, singer Hope Sandoval of Mazzy Star. Oz Bach of Spanky and Our Gang, rapper Lil Drip, rapper Derek Le, rapper Cameron Hauser, singer Elijah Johnson, singer Arthur Brown of The Crazy World of Arthur Brown, and also of the group Kingdom Come, guitarist extraordinaire Mr. Jeff Beck of The Yardbirds, also the Jeff Beck Group, and also Beck Bogert and a piece, and also solo fame. Guitarist John Charlie Whitney of Family, also Streetwalkers, and also Axis Point. Keyboardist Patrick Moraz of the groups Yes and the Moody Blues. Singer Andy McCluskey of Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, better known as OMD. 
guitarist Richard Crosby of Ramstein, and also the singer of the group Emigrate. Mario Callier of The Wallflowers and guitarist Dennis Donnell of Social Distortion. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 24th include composer Johann Thiel, who passed away in 1724 at the age of 77. Composer Joseph Joachim Raff passed away in 1882 at the age of 60. Composer Anne Monzi passed away in 1891 at the age of 80. Composer Frank Linz passed away in 1913 at the age of 55. Singer Cicioretta Joyner Jones passed away in 1933 at somewhere around the age of 64. No one seems to know exactly when she was born. Singer Carlos Gardel passed away in a plane accident in 1935 at the age of 44. Composer Nandor Zolt passed away in 1936 at the age of 49. Composer Rio Gebart passed away in 1944 at the age of 36. Entertainer Jackie Gleason passed away in 1987 at the age of 71. Singer Hibari Masura passed away from heart failure in 1988 at the age of 52. Singer-songwriter Tony Lamans passed away in a car accident in 1992 at the age of 29. Jazz bassist Jimmy Rouser passed away in 2004 at the age of 78. Reggae artist Natasha Syed passed away in 2007 at the age of 32. Alan Myers of the group Devo passed away from cancer in 2013 at the age of 58. Keyboardist extraordinaire Mr. Bernie Worrell of Parliament Funkadelic passed away in 2016 at the age of 72. Violinist Richard Hoffman passed away in 2021 at the age of 96. And composer Lawrence Moss passed away in 2022 at the age of 94. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 25th, when in 1984, Prince releases an iconic album. And in 2009, Michael Jackson passes away. <laughs> 